if you actually start from where Darwin's theory begins, the creation of the human being was so complicated. The body, the way we exist is so complicated. It doesn't make any rational sense. There's two issues, really. There's how do you get to the first life from the simpler non-living chemicals? That's sometimes called chemical evolutionary right. theory. And that's a complete mess. It's in, it's in a state of impasse. And almost everyone, even your recent guest, uh, Richard Dawkins, yeah. acknowledges we have no chemical evolutionary theory that accounts for the origin of the first life. And many people don't know that Darwin didn't attempt to explain the origin of the first life. Rather, it, he presumed one or very few simple organisms, which we now know are not, were not simple, and then proposed a mechanism by which you could generate all the new forms of life we see on the planet today. Even that now is being challenged because the main mechanism of evolutionary change does a nice job of explaining small-scale variation. What Tucker was referring to, I think, is adaptation. This would be examples like Darwin's finches, where the beaks get a little bigger, a little smaller in response to varying weather patterns. But it does a very poor job of explaining the major innovations in the history of life, such as the origin of birds or mammals or animals in the first place. And there in the fossil record, we do see very abrupt, many uh, uh, instances of very abrupt appearance without the transi transitional intermediates that you'd expect on the basis of the Darwinian picture of the, the tree of life.